All right, welcome to my video. My name is Echogen. I'll be doing a quick overview of Zyway runes. It will not be a full guide just because it'll probably take over half an hour to do it. And I'm sure you guys don't want to sit here for, you know, 30 minutes watching me do this. Uh, Zyway runes is a new 24-man instance that came with the installment of the Vengeance patch update. Uh, in order to get here, you need to wind stride to the altar of the Vine Will. And there will be a gate in this corner. It will be called the Zyway runes. Just walk into that gate. I'll take you to this building here, and then inside there will be some NPCs on, NPCs on the right side that you talk to, and they will give you the quest. Uh, this is the map of the area. The quest just consists of you of killing three bosses, the main boss, and that's it. No mob kills, nothing else, just three bosses and the main boss. So the scorpion demon spawns here, Pyre Fist spawns here, Terrakin spawns here, so that's the main boss. And Merkwing spawns here. There's also a secret boss that spawns right here. Uh, he is called Mizasa. I think that's how you pronounce his name. I'm not sure. I'll go over him uh, in just a bit. So, this dragon pulse takes you to Merkwing. This dragon pulse right here takes you to Mizasa, the bonus boss. And this Dragon Pulse here takes you to the Scorpion Demon. So the Scorpion Demon spawns about every 20 minutes. Uh, when he's ready to spawn, you'll get a notification. It'll say that the demonic energy is gathering in the House of Pleasures. So, you know, House of Pleasures right here. So when you come to this area, there'll be three portals, just like that kind of portal right there. One will spawn right here, another will spawn right there on the right side, and another will spawn right where the boss used to spawn. Uh, mobs will come forth from this portal, and you have to defend these three NPCs right here. Once you defend them for a couple of minutes, then this boss will spawn. He'll uh, occasionally create a shield around himself, so right now he's got a blue shield. In order to break that blue shield, you have to pick up a flamethrower from either of these racks right here. And he can also create a red shield. If he does, you have to go to this rack on the right side here. And this gives you the frost spewer, and that will destroy his red shield. So if he's got blue shield, go to this rack. If he's got red shield, go to this rack. Once he's dead, just take this dragon pulse. And this will take you back to the starting area. And in a couple minutes, uh, you'll see a notification for Ogong. So Ogong will spawn right here. And he will make his way up to the central garrison. And you have to escort him there, otherwise he will not make it there. And once he gets to the central garrison, that will spawn the prior fist. So I'll show you the path he follows. Once he, get, once he gets to about right here, there will be an elite uh, demon mob that spawns along with some other mobs. You need to kill them for him to progress. Once they're dead, he'll keep moving. Another elite mob will spawn about right here. And then another elite mob will spawn right here to stop him. And then the last one spawns about roughly right here. So as Ogong makes his way from the starting point to central garrison, there's about four mobs, elite mobs, that will stop him. So you have to kill them, otherwise he will not make it here. So once that's done, he will trigger the spawn for a prior list, prior fist, just kill him. And once he is dead, he will always trigger the spawn of Terrakin right over here. So right where um, the demonic Master Warlock is, that's roughly where Terrakin will spawn. Uh, when you kill Terrakin, there is a RNG chance that there will be a red uh, Dragon Pulse right here. If you take that, that will take you to 
this area right here, just above uh, Autumn Breeze Park. And that means the uh, Visa Sun boss will, will spawn. So I'll show you guys that area in just a bit. Um, he doesn't always spawn after you kill Terrakin. Just think of this, uh, I guess, mechanic. Just think of it similar as Frostgale Basin, where you kill um, Balrock. Bal Dark Balrock doesn't always spawn, so just think of it like, as like that. So I'll show you guys uh, Mark Wing next. He's down in this area here, where I'm heading to. So in order to spawn Merkwing, you need to kill these guys here. Now when you kill these guys, uh, there's a chance that an elite mob will spawn. And you have to kill that elite mob three times in order to trigger the spawn for Merkwing. So it doesn't matter which group you go to, um, if you kill this group or the group down there or the group here, it does not matter. As long as you get the elite mob spawn and you kill them three times, that will trigger uh, Merkwing to spawn. This dragon pulse right here will take you to the starting area. Okay, so this was the dragon pulse I was talking about that takes you to Visa SA. Uh. Alright, so if you were fighting um, Terracon here and you killed them, and then there was an icon for the, uh, the red dragon pulse. I'll take you to this spot here, and then once you're here, you're going to see a demonic seal that's active here. That means he's going to spawn, and you kill him. So he'll be like a bonus secret boss. Kind of think of him as Dark Balrock to Balrock. And this is the loot chest for the normal bosses. So this drops from uh, the Scorpion Demon, the Prior Lord, or the Prior Fist, and Merkwing. This is Terracon's loot box. And right here, this is Visa Sa's uh, loot box. And as you can see from him, it's guaranteed two to four frozen stingers every time you open it. And also, Zawi Runes is where you get the Faded Scale. You need 10 of these scales to produce a ivory dragon scale. So once you get 10, you just right click it and it, it produces an ivory dragon scale. The ivory dragon scale is required to do the heaven's mandate. Uh, you only need one per group. So to wrap things up, typically how people do this area is that they'll go to the uh, Scorpion Demon first, so he spawns every 20 minutes. Once he's dead, they'll go to the starting area here, where after a couple minutes, Ogong will spawn. You escort him to Central Garrison, and that will trigger the spawn for Prior Fist. You kill him. Killing him will trigger the spawn for Terracon, which will spawn right here, where I have my mouse. Once you kill Terracon, there's an RG chance that Vizasa will spawn, which you take the red uh, Dragon Pulse here to take you to this area here to kill him. If not, just go down here where Mirkwood is and kill Mirkwood. And to trigger the spawn for Mirkwood, you have to kill the Skeletal Shamans. And they will trigger the spawn of elite demon mobs. And you need to kill three of them to trigger that spawn. So that's the uh, quick overview for Zawea Runes, the 24-man instance. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that helps.